survivor car. Uh, you know, so many of these, as I've talked about before, and as the DSM crowd knows, these were all mostly modified, raced, or commuter cars that just, you know, were driven into the ground and were junk. But mostly they were raced and exploded. So I'm really glad that this one exists. Again, 19,000 miles on it when I bought this. It's got 22,000 miles now. I've seen a few come up for sale in the year that I've owned this one. I saw one with like 29,000 miles and one with like 60,000 miles. Those are the only two that were like stock that uh, were under 100,000 miles. Um, I think the biggest surprise Two surprises, two surprises, two things that surprised me about the Eagle Talon. Number one, it's been super reliable. I would have no issues driving this every day if it weren't for that I didn't want to put a ton of miles on it. And I do at least drive it once or twice a week. And then the second surprise is just the amount of attention that I get in this car, which is really something I was not expecting, but usually every time I take the car out at a stoplight or something, somebody will stop me or roll down the window and say, what a nice car, or like, I used to have an Eclipse and uh, that was my favorite car and I've never seen one in a long time. I'm like, yeah, thanks. And uh, so that's that's kind of cool. I don't know, it's just, that, that's to me the coolest thing about the car. And the, you know, that coupled with it being the stock example is, you know, it looks almost brand new, which for a car from 1992 is pretty, pretty impressive. So for the next question on if I'm gonna sell it, let's take a ride. Will I ever sell the Talon? The answer, I don't know. I'm going back and forth right now even still. I would sell, I probably would sell the Talon, okay? I would sell it under the right set of very specific circumstances. Am I gonna sell it now? No, I'm not. Those circumstances have not presented themselves yet. I have a basically a dollar number figure in mind that I think the car will be worth in five to ten years. So if I get that number of an offer, so people have asked me to sell it to them already. I have said no, or I really let them into first gen Vipers again, like the 94, 93, 93, 94 RT10. So if somebody right now had like a 93, 94 black RT10 the Viper, and they wanted to trade straight up for this, I would probably agree to that, but.
try and pry this thing for me you can give it your best shot but probably not gonna happen anytime soon so with that being said thanks for watching this episode of nostalgic auto be sure to tune in next time for some more eagle town content and we'll catch you next time better time to do a one year review of the car after I've owned it for a year. It was a great time to do a one year review. Sunny over here and rainbowy over here. I don't know, I don't know if you can see that. Or not. Like, oh yeah, that's nice. Oh, yeah. I don't know why. Why are we going to speed limit? red lights like just like really bad like not just like it was yellow for a second and all oh, like the last second I was going through red light no like you're going through like it's red and you're like hammering down for quite a while and it's still red and you just go through and almost cause a wreck yeah it's turn already person